everyone, my name is Amna Sakib and I am a freshman in Middle East Technical University in the psychology department and the book that I'm going to be talking about today is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This book was published in 1960 and it has received a number of very renowned awards such as the Pulitzer Award for Fiction among others. This book is written in the first person perspective of the main character whose name is Scout Finch. She lives in Alabama with her older brother Jem and her father Atticus Finch who is a lawyer as well as their cook Calpurnia. Um, this book is about growing up and the lessons that we learn um, as we go through life and as we grow up and one of the most important lessons that she learns is how unfair the world is and how different it is from the world that we imagine it is as kids. The title of the book, To Kill a Mockingbird, pays an homage to a scene from the book where Atticus, the children's father, is telling their, um, his kids about prey and hunting birds and he tells them that you can kill any type of bird but you cannot kill a mockingbird because mockingbirds don't do damage to the land and they don't harm anyone. So the title of the book To Kill a Mockingbird is a metaphorical play on that scene because it means to kill killing a mockingbird means taking advantage of someone who is lesser than you in any regards that it might be. They could be someone who's poor, or someone who has less advantages in life than you do. So if you take advantage of someone who does not have as many advantages that you are that you have, then you are killing a mockingbird. And that is what the title of the book is about. So one of the underlying themes of the book is about racism. And this becomes very apparent in the second half of the book where a black man whose name is Thomas Robinson has been accused of raping a white woman. Thomas is taken to court and Atticus Finch, Scout's father, becomes his defense lawyer. And despite the fact that Atticus presented a very strong case for his defense, the jury that consisted of all white members did not acquit Thomas Robinson for a crime that he did not commit and Scout and Jem watched the case unfold in the court from the gallery and Scout understands racism through seeing her father um, get called get called weird names and her getting bullied because her father was defending a white man. This ties into the whole idea of killing a mockingbird and of taking advantage of someone who is not as well off as you because all of the white people in the town accused and believed that Tom Robinson was guilty just because he was black. So this is the way that Scout Finch learns about these lessons in life, about how unfair the world is, about how justice is not always served, and just about growing up. It is a very informative read and it's very entertaining. It's not a very long book and I think that everyone should read it because it's very, it sheds light on some of the very important lessons that everybody can learn from. And I hope you guys liked this video.